I'm sure some people have. I haven't suggested looking at all 1.3 million. I think it would be valuable, highly valuable, to pull a random sampling from multiple counties in this state just to know wh how close we got it and to put that into the hands of people who have been trained um, and have experience in handwriting analysis. The last the, the question. Point, I the point add. that I would make sure. on that too is I think the point that, that you're probably suggesting is what we would do then if it doesn't match is follow up with the voter to see, hey, did, did you sign this? Because it's not really the point of did it match or not. The point is, did that voter sign it or not? Well, the, the point is that it should have been, they should have been sent to provisional ballot. That's the point, is that that ballot should not have been accepted and that ballot never should have been counted. The, the point would be is that the system failed us and we have potentially, to your point, we don't know conclusively, even if the signature doesn't match. What we do know conclusively the signature does not match is that that should have been a provisional ballot, not a ballot that was accepted. Um, you mentioned earlier that, that uh, we send ballots out of county if you move out of county. Um, I pulled for the three counties who were supposed to be here today, Fulton, Muskogee, and DeKalb. Um, we had about 20,000 ballots from those three counties alone sent out of state. Do you know how many ballots, absentee ballots for the entire state were mailed to addresses outside of the state of Georgia? No, but we can get that for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.